Yes, we do have the man himself, uh, Sebastian uh, Mine. Did I say it right? Yes. Yes, uh, welcome. And also, his translator is here. Uh, first of all, welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Uh, Karibu, you say? Uh, Karibu, I should say. <laughs> yes, and, and Asante is, yes. uh, thank you. Very good. Uh, um, let's start with, uh, are you under any kind of pressure? No. Uh, Why? To be uh, under pressure, it's only football. It's a fantastic experience for me to, uh, to come in Kenya, in a new country with a huge potential, I think, for football. And uh, at the moment, uh, everything is okay. Everything My is feeling is good about uh, Kenya. Okay. Um, what do you know about Kenyan football? Yeah, I know, I know Kenya because when I, I was a coach assistant with Claude Roy, we were in the same group. Uh, for last uh, qualification for AFCON and uh, we draw at home against uh, Kenya and after we left uh, uh, Congo but uh, I remember uh, I saw Kenya national team several times mm -hmm. and uh, I remember a good team with a good behavior it was uh, interesting a good striker with Olunga mm -hmm. Michael and uh, when I have a contact with uh, Mr. Mwenda, mm -hmm. uh, yes, it was interesting for me. Uh, you, you were at uh, Congo Brazzaville until the end of March. Yes. Why did you leave? You have to know uh, it was my second experience uh, with Congo. Uh, when I signed, I signed with a former uh, sport minister. Uh, it was not, uh, it was a difficult decision uh, because the relation with my players but when uh, all the but I think the all the conditions were not uh, brought together anymore okay. and after that uh, it was uh, not possible for me to continue um, African football has those kind of problems. What you faced in Congo Brazzaville may most likely happen here. Allowances uh, not being on time, uh, interference on uh, who you choose or who you don't choose. How will you handle that in Kenya? Can you uh, about the, so the about the, the, the player selection? Yes, so player selection, team yes. selection. Uh, for that, I'm uh, independent. You know, uh, I can consult my staff, mm -hmm. but after I have uh, enough experience to, to do wha what I want uh, about my uh, selection. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, in every country and in Africa, every people comment your selection. Mm -hmm. They can uh, uh, to give his advice, mm -hmm. but uh, after that, I decide. You decide. Um, club coaches, will they have an input? Will you ask club coaches what you think uh, club KPL, Kenya Premier League coaches, will you ask them for input? Yes. Uh, from tomorrow, I will be uh, uh, in the stadium, Camp Toyoyo, yes. I think, uh, to see uh, two games. And uh, I want to, I live first. It's important in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my mission, it's uh, also to develop the local football and to be uh, very close uh, to the local players and to the local coach. Also, uh, we, we put a meeting, I hope so, next week mm -hmm. with all uh, local coaches uh, to exchange. Uh, I think it's important when you arrive uh, in a new country. I know the professional player because you have a, a different platform to, to follow them, mm -hmm. but uh, it's more difficult for me at the beginning. And uh, I don't want to, to lose time. And uh, it's the reason I want to, to meet uh, the different local coaches and uh, to feel the atmosphere, to ask them what they think okay. about uh, and uh, to help me. It's a permanent exchange, you know. Okay. After, at the end, I decide. You decide. But, uh, uh, you said uh, Olunga, you know, Victor Wanyama? For sure. Your thoughts? Uh, if I, I don't know him, <laughs> uh, I can stop my career, huh? <laughs> you know. No, yesterday I sent him uh, a message 
uh, but uh, I'm waiting for, for the answer, but uh, uh, we are uh, uh, close to the weekend and next game. I will try to, to call him uh, tonight or tomorrow, mm -hmm. because the, the first touch uh, is with him. He's the captain of the team, mm -hmm. and, uh, but it, it's fantastic. I know uh, his quality. Mm -hmm. I heard about his behavior. It's, it's fantastic uh, for me to have this kind of player. Okay. You said your name doesn't give you a squad uh, number. You, you have to fight for your squad number. Uh, when you said uh, just because you play for Tottenham, doesn't matter. You have to be good. What do you mean? Uh, no, but you have some reality mm -hmm. in football. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, it's not interesting for me to follow Victor mm -hmm. uh, during training session in Tottenham. It's, it's interesting mm -hmm. to meet him, uh, to follow him during the year, to keep touch with him, but I know he has a good training in Tottenham. But maybe you have one other player in Bulgaria or maybe uh, in the north of Kenya. And uh, there it's important to, to know uh, uh, what is quality of a, of a training session. But uh, sh for sure, when you play for Tottenham, normally you're, you're one of the leaders of the national team. Okay. Um, Avernad, Claude Leroy, uh, assistant, now you main coach. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your CV. Everyone says uh, you've been assistant for long. Now you are main coach. Uh, how do you, what, is, what are your achievements? Yes, uh, I, I was a coach alone in a, for the division in France, and after that uh, I was a coach assistant in League One and League Two in, uh, in France. We, we used to play uh, European Cup with Lens, with uh, Jean-Pierre Papin, the former uh, gold, uh, gold, uh, gold ball uh, in a... Golden ball. Uh -huh. Gold World Ball. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, after that, uh, Claude Leroy proposed me to, to follow him uh, in Oman, Syria, DR Congo. Congo, Togo, and uh, I discovered with him Africa, mm -hmm. and uh, wow, it was uh, amazing, and uh, it was a good moment to, to let him to continue his career, to finish his career, but uh, uh, don't say that uh, <laughs> to him, and uh, it was a good time for me to, to start alone. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity in Congo, and now it's a new experience. I'm very happy to, to be there to try to, uh, to bring my own experience. Uh, you know, uh, I work uh, in three continents, six national teams, and uh, I want to bring uh, my enthusiasm mm -hmm. and to try to reach the top of Africa with Harambe Star. Top of Africa with Harambe Stars, AFCON 2019? Maybe, but... Uh, when I took the decision to come here, it was because I, I liked the, the vision of the uh, president uh, of the federation, because he proposed me uh, not only one shot against Kenya and the uh, next Afghans, but to, to try to participate, uh, to develop the football in Kenya, uh, for sure. If it was uh, next Afcon, it would be fantastic. But uh, I told you before, you have some reality in football. Uh, unfortunately, you, you lost the first game. And now you have to play Ghana. It's not easy. But uh, after that, you have a next Afcon in uh, 21. Mm -hmm. If after 21 we are not there, OK. Uh, but uh, we have a, a lot of things to do with under 23, uh, with uh, under 20. The president asked me to be very, very, very close uh, with his team and to try to build something good for the future for Kenya. And uh, if it was only a uh, first national team and only one shot against Ghana, maybe uh, I'm wait uh, for, for a moment to take another team. But uh, the, the, the project, the global project, was very interesting for me for the future. A World Cup 2022? <laughs> uh, why not? 
But you know, after 14 years old, without AFCON, no participation in the champs, step by step. First, you have to, to build a local team, to follow your player, uh, your professional players, and to try to, to create something uh, uh, strong for the future. But, you know, alone, I cannot. I need also, first, my players, fans, media. And all together, we can create something really interesting. But I have a good feeling. You have a good feeling. Tell me about your support staff, assistant coach, yes. and uh, the rest of the people. It was also uh, a part of my decision to come here. Uh, they proposed me to come with a competent staff of my shows. Uh, I have Nicolas, who was a former uh, teaching coach, uh, instructor coach in, uh, in France. He already uh, uh, worked with a uh, national team in Africa, in uh, uh, Central uh, America also, IT uh, national team, Chad national team, and uh, he speaks English better than me. And uh, it would be really interesting uh, for me, for first national team, but also to help uh, to develop uh, uh, the football in general in, uh, in the country. After that, I am my former assistant in Congo, uh, Guillaume Kofi, especially for goalkeeper coaching. He was with Claude Roy uh, in Syria with me and uh, last experience in Congo. And uh, also I want, wanted to come uh, with a specialist in medicine and uh, we have an osteopath, uh, Ludovic Breu. He will come also and with a local assistant. It's so important for me. At the beginning, I let uh, the federation to decide for that, but uh, I asked the president after three months I will give him uh, the name uh, uh, with uh, avec lequel je veux travailler. Uh, let, me, let me choose wait, the let local me choose coach. A local coach. Ah, okay. But I want to, to, See for to meet them, uh -huh. to, to check okay. uh, their qualities, human qualities, football qualities. And uh, after that, uh, I think we, we have a really competent staff. Okay. Uh, Nicholas, let me bring you in. Uh, welcome to Kenya, first of all. Thank uh, you for greeting us. Yes, and uh, you also have had experience around Africa. And, uh, Absolutely. What, what, what has been a standout uh, football moment in your journey across Africa on the technical bench? So it will be difficult to, to sum up my experience in one word or only in one emotion because the, the context could be so, so, so different. Mm -hmm. But I will say the, the, the best is coming with Sebastian, with all the staff and with all the Kenyan staff. Mm -hmm. so we'll talk about the best moment in a couple of months with mm -hmm. Kenya. I'm sure about that. What uh, Sebastian has talked about uh, the project. Uh, what what sold you to come and join his team and uh, Harambe Stars? What what sold you? What what was this the project he's talking about? What what made you come to Kenya? So of course uh, I'm going. The first thing is uh, we're going to collaborate mm -hmm. with uh, Sebastian for for set up a global project for the um, Kenyan football. Mm -hmm. uh, global project, it means we're going to bring our experience by a specific methodology. Uh, too often in football, it's difficult to, to master the result of the game, but we can master the football identity. Mm -hmm. So it's why we are there for building a competitive team, of course, but also the future of the football in, in Kenya, okay. not only uh, with the A team. Okay. Um, coach, what is your style of play? For sure, uh, I like attractive, fo attractive football. Uh, I had a, a good school with Claude Roy, but uh, I have to be pragmatic and uh, at the beginning to know exactly 
uh, the strong less of a team, of a local football also. But uh, I don't want a team uh, under the back foot, okay, for sure. Uh, we will see, I need uh, to know better and uh, the, the first camp and I hope so the next friendly games uh, will be uh, interesting for that. Mm -hmm. um, your expectation of the Federation, I know they expect you to do things, what do you expect from Federation? Ce que j'espère de la Fédération. Uh, to collaborate, uh, to take pleasure uh, with them, uh, and to have a good result, for sure. Because in football, you can say blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's the result. If after 21, we have no good result, we, we won't build anything. Uh, it will not be interesting, you know. We, we will lose time, but uh, I have a good feeling for that. I think everybody wants uh, to try to reach the top and, uh, you know, without work, I have one motto, huh? uh, work. Without, uh, without uh, work, uh, it's difficult to reach anything. Ghana, September, uh, how you approach that? Not easy, but... Uh, Fantastic opportunity uh, to put Aaron Mistar uh, in the top of the group after this game. Uh, it will be uh, fantastic to uh, to try to create something with the fans also, with a renewed stadium, mm -hmm. uh, Kasarani yes. Stadium. And, uh, it's fantastic to compete with a uh, huge team like uh, Ghana. Mm -hmm. It will be uh, a good evaluation uh, for us. And uh, we try to create uh, a good result uh, for Kenya. Okay. Um, away from uh, AFCON uh, 2019 and uh, Ghana, next uh, couple of uh, weeks, FIFA World Cup. Uh, Russia, who are you supporting? France? For sure. <laughs> France. My friend, Hervé Honard, who is Morocco. Yes. Not Morocco, but uh, Hervé mm -hmm. and uh, France. And uh, when you, you like football, for sure, uh, Brazil normally, mm -hmm. because they play uh, athletic football. Uh, we will see. And uh, I would like uh, an African team. Uh, I put some money uh, on uh, Senegal. On Senegal? I think so. Mm. We will see. We will see. Nicolas, uh, Mohamed Salah? Oh. Um, I've been lucky because uh, in one of my previous experience, we play against uh, the national Egyptian team. Um, it's a fantastic promotion for the football African to count uh, a top African player in the main European league. So everything has been said about this player. It's uh, so pleasant to get this sort of uh, uh, star on the pitch. We just uh, we, um, we wait for this uh, next performance mm -hmm. in Russia. And of course, we are going to encourage the national French team. I know French team you support, but uh, African team, which team you pick? Uh, I'm fan, of course. Seb and Sebastian and I, we are fans about the, the African football, so I could say Senegal, but uh, it's interesting to, it will be interesting to follow also the, uh, the Egypt national team mm -hmm. and the, the, not the Egypt national team, sorry, the, 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 um, the Morocco national team for, for a different football mentality if we compare with Senegal, so we'll be behind these two, these two teams. But it will not be easy against Portugal and, and Spain. Spain. Yes. Uh, Liverpool, Real Madrid, pick one. I'm, I'm sharing because uh, I'm shared uh, because uh, you have Zinedine Zidane, he's a French uh, coach uh, with Real Madrid, but actually uh, I like very much Mohamed Salah, you know, mm -hmm. and the style 
of Liverpool. Mm -hmm. uh, difficult. Maybe uh, I hope for Africa uh, a victory for Liverpool and Mohamed Salah. Liverpool and Mohamed Salah. So mekado akada hapa na sema Njoroge Junior na sema hope the new Harambee Stars coach will perform well anamtakia kila laheri na na imani sana na yeye huyo si jina yake tusomaje ni Bruno the first of his name anasema watu kama hawa wanafaa kupigwa marufuku ya miaka isiyo chini ya kumi ili iwe funzo wake ama kwake na wale ambao kwa kweli wana mafikira sawia na hayo Lord Mickey anasema kwamba Asbel Kiprop has destroyed the face of Kenyan athletes internationally for more, more so how they championed over the years the Rosa management should be kicked out of the country ndo anasema kauli yake hiyo Lord Brian Odeo anasema kwamba Kenyan athletics is slowly fading away we are not appreciating talents well some of our athletes run against us from other countries like Uganda this leaves an option for those remaining to us ama to use prohibited drugs which destroys the reputation we have built for years kizungu hicho kinaingia tuko mpigo lakini hamna neno huyu anaitwa Kiha Dixon anasema habari mbaya sana but we need to be sincere in everything we do kauli yake hiyo muhimu some ya mwisho hapa ndo nirejee moja kwa moja kwake wa Rothe huyu anaitwa Kevo lakini maandiko kimaridad na kimadoido sana anasema i can't judge I'm waiting for IWF to comment na sema kwamba hawezi kutoa kauli yake ya mwisho na subiria sana kwamba shirikisho la riadha ulimwenguni IWF litoe kauli yake muhimu lakini hiyo jana bodi yake iliweza kutoa kauli kwamba na kathibitisha asilimia mia kwamba Asbel Kiprop alitumua misuli warudhi uh, quite a sad state of affairs and uh, we'll be talking athletics uh, shortly uh, do have uh, Barnabas Kori who's uh, one of the athletics Kenya officials he's uh, just waiting in the wings he'll be coming in we'll be talking about uh, the Asbel Kiprop uh, saga he says no IAAF and the athletics integrity unit uh, say yes he did use uh, performance enhancing drugs so we'll be delving into that and just uh, moving it away from Kiprop onto the global uh, or the perception of Kenyan athletics in as far as uh, the world is concerned right now but we are talking football and it's a pleasure to have uh, Sebastian Minye in studio just talking about uh, his uh, aspirations uh, for Rambi Stars and uh, we've talked a lot about uh, why he came to Kenya uh, what he wants to achieve uh, he talks about a global project uh, under 23 uh, the under 20s and just coming up to the Harambe Stars but I want you to talk about uh, Claude Leroy yes. how was it working under him is in uh, Togo Actually, he's in France now. Mm -hmm. He prepare comments for French channels mm -hmm. for next uh, uh, World Cup. It was fantastic to to discover uh, expatriation and uh, uh, continent like Asia and for sure Africa with him. Uh, I think it's a historic coach in Africa. White. Uh, coach in Africa, but uh, white outside, black inside, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was fantastic to to be with him. Uh, and he like athletic football. And it's so important. Uh, we have the same philosophy, but with my sensibility, mm -hmm. also. Uh, you cannot propose a, a copy, okay? But uh, no, he, I ask him uh, his advice when. Uh, the president of uh, Kenyan Federation contacted me, contacted me, and uh, told me, uh, "Yes, you you can go. You have to go. <laughs> uh, since a long time, uh, except Sekafa, but uh, uh, Kenya has not a, a real good result. But you have a, a real potential. You, you remember in the uh, 80s." It was a strong place uh, for African football. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he told me, uh, I know you. Uh, I know the country. Uh, you can share something interesting uh, with them. And uh, it's also uh, a beautiful country. It's uh, important for me because my, my family will come mm -hmm. to live here also mm -hmm. in August. At the beginning, I want to, to focus mm -hmm. about uh, football and uh, quickly. Tell me about your family. 
my family, I have a, I married with uh, three kids, uh, two daughters and uh, one son. He likes so much uh, football. Maybe uh, a small uh, white Kenyan uh, <laughs> will play here. He has seven years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uh, oldest and uh, is in uh, is disabled okay. in a wheelchair. Okay. It's not easy uh, to to travel with her in uh, in Africa, but uh, it's a fantastic experience also for for my family, not only for me. Okay. And uh, to have uh, my family uh, close to me, it's so important. You can share mm -hmm. your feeling, uh, yes. your when you're happy, where it's more difficult sometimes mm -hmm. after a bad result. But uh, no, I'm uh, I'm uh, really happy to be there with them and to uh, with my staff okay. also. Um, away from football, Sebastian Mine, the man, who? Ah. I hope uh, a good man. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not uh, always easy, mm -hmm. you know. I have a. A character, but uh, I'm also positive, you know, even it's difficult. Uh, I had a good lesson with uh, the problem with my daughter, okay. and uh, now uh, everything is a, a pleasure, you know, okay. has to be a pleasure. And uh, I'm very lucky in my life uh, because uh, I, li I like so much my, uh, my job. Uh, I like Africa, and uh, since a few years I live in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, I can share my uh, passion for football with uh, local coaches, with local players, with uh, local journalists, and uh, it's so fantastic. Uh, how do you say in, uh, in English, privilege? Privileges. It's a privilege. Yes. For me, I think so. Okay. I'm lucky. You're lucky. 2015, 2017, AFCON. You experience both. What is the experience like? Uh, for many I, Kenyans, we've not been there for yeah. 14 years. So. I used to qualify uh, DR Congo for the first time. Mm -hmm. It's strange, but uh, it was the reality uh, with the team uh, under 20 when I was uh, there with uh, Claude Owa. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you, you have a potential here. I know we are eliminated uh, under 20. Uh, after the game against Rwanda, but uh, we we'll try to be better uh, next time, and uh, we'll start uh, from yesterday to exchange with uh, Stanley mm -hmm. and uh, Michael, the coach uh, under 23. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the coach Kimanzi was not there because he prepared his game yes. uh, for tomorrow, and uh, we'll. I ask for the federation to uh, to put a game uh, uh, maybe next week, I hope so, maybe next Wednesday, we try, uh, between uh, under 20 and uh, under 23. I don't care about the score, but I, I want to discover the player and uh, quickly, and maybe with uh, two players from uh, the team under 17 also. Okay. Uh, Nicholas, let me bring you in. and. Uh he speaks English, uh, you're a bit more fluent in English. Uh, how will you handle the communication with our players? Everyone will want to know that. So, of course, you know, we are we're going to, to bring our working method. Mm -hmm. So, it means that uh, before hosting our player and greeting them, we'll know, we'll perfectly know what we expect, okay. uh, what would we expect from there for the specific position, mm -hmm. for the tactical aspects. So um, we can also add the collaboration of the local coaches. Mm -hmm. So as you, as you could say, uh, the communication is also important for for bring back our football message. Okay, um, so you will be 
the one supporting him more in communication? Not, not specifically. We, we, we're going to work to work together. To, to get together. Absolutely. Absolutely. But don't worry the, about it because uh, you know football uh, is an international language. Yes. You know, with a good player, it's not a problem. When I was in Oman with Claudio, we converse uh, in English, in Arabic, and uh, I don't speak uh, uh, Arabic. And I didn't speak very well uh, English at the beginning uh, in Oman. Uh, it was not a problem. We we won the golf cup, and uh, in the Congo, uh, I was obliged with uh, the team under 20 uh, to speak uh, to to coach sometimes in Lingala. Oh, uh, not in Swahili, mm -hmm. but you have a, a part of the Congo yes. where, where you can speak Swahili. Yes. Uh, towards uh, Lubumbashi, uh, but uh, no, no, football is an uh, international language. International language indeed. And you show Makuri na zua kwamba lazima kuna watazama juu tu ambao una mawili matatu kusema kuhusu kocha Sebastian Mine. Wajua warode leo tulisema tu kwamba si kwamba ni riadha tutuja kufunga, tutuja kubana. Wele tamuni yako ndani, harambe stazu na mauni gani kumuhusu kocha mgeni Sebastian Minye atatesa, hato tesa. Kwa mauni yako kama mkenya, kama shabiki. Kuna hii hapa naitua Blue Queen na nasema kwamba please ask Sebastian how he teaches tackling and contact what is his winning philosophy. So Lilo Mwimu Sana Ilo Afunisome Moja Apahuyo and Ito Maina Wambuya Nasema the coach seems like a good man and he should be supported as supported by us all if we if he is going to succeed. And asema kumba ndo huyu coach awezu kwa ndika mafanikiu na fanikiu asilimia mia lazima si wote wa Kenya kiyo jumla tumpige jeki tumusaidi and awezu kwa ndika matukio katika tima taifa kananda harambe stars warode filosofia yake? Ah, uh, coach, it seems uh, you're making a good impression, good man, viewers like you. It's better when it's like it, you okay. know. Uh, I hope to exchange first with my player. It's, uh, nothing is more important uh, than my uh, staff or my players, but uh, mm -hmm. if we have a, a good uh, feeling, good exchange with the fans, it's uh, so fantastic. Uh, normally, it's like it, you know, after... We will see with a uh, with a result, but I'm uh, I have full confidence for, for that. Uh, I have a staff uh, who are working hardly. I'm sure for that, and after we will see. But uh, yes, yeah, it's good to to have a good uh, feeling with uh, with the fans for sure. Okay, and uh, as we wrap it up, uh, I asked you your philosophy, your style. Asked about style, said attractive uh, attacking football, football philosophy. For example, for me, we have uh, now a legend with a team with Barca, you know, who play with uh, a lot of possession. But for me, maybe I prefer a team like uh, Bayern, like Liverpool, actually. Uh, when you catch the ball, uh, you try to to create something very fast, uh, but you you have a, you must have a player for that also. I need to wait for for that mm -hmm. if I, I have a, the, the same possibilities mm -hmm. with our Mister. Okay. I don't know yet, but uh, we try to to do something good. But I don't want to to park. Uh, a bus or a coach uh, in front of the box. Huh? Mm -hmm. not, it's not my philosophy. You have to, to think uh, about another coach for that. Okay. Um, as we wrap it up, uh, Kenyan football fans, Kenyans love football. Yeah, I Your think fans so. fans are very passionate about football. Are you ready for that? And they're not afraid but, to express but you uh, know, themselves. I think uh, it's uh, always like that in Africa. You know, you have a, football is a, the more important sport in Africa, in the world for sure, but in Africa. I, I think the Africa Cup of Nations is the third event for sport in the world. And uh, I know perfectly that, uh, but it's, uh, it's good. 
It's a privilege. I told you before. Okay. Okay. All the best, coach. Thank you Caribou. so much. Asante. Uh, you learn. Good stuff. Uh, Nicholas, uh, welcome uh, to Kenya. All the best uh, in your endeavors. We shall invite you, both of you back here, just to see how far you're going uh, maybe in a couple of uh, months. Is that okay? Yeah.